This is a demonstration of using the NVH apps pick your vehicle feature to set your vehicle up to begin vibration diagnosis. The first step is to click agree on this warning page and basically this warning page tells you that you should have somebody else drive the vehicle while you use this app. So click agree. Then in the upper left hand side of the screen we have pick your vehicle. We will have a separate video for picking your vehicle using the unlisted vehicle option. But for now, pick your vehicle. We click and then we're presented with a list of vehicle manufacturers here. Um, so we are going to scroll down to, in this example, and use a Ford. So we'll click on Ford. Uh, we'll click on the model year 2015 and then F-150 in this example. Notice on the left hand side we have four-wheel drive as the first option and then if you scroll down to the bottom we have rear-wheel drive. So everything in four-wheel drive is also available in rear-wheel drive. And then you'll notice also that there's a 2.7 liter engine option in several of those and a 3.5 liter and a 5.0 liter. If you are not sure which engine size you have, click the help button, scroll down towards the bottom of this screen and there's a, an engine size help uh, paragraph there and it shows a label that's typically underneath the hood of your car or truck and somewhere on there it will have the engine size. So for example this has outlined in red there a 3.5 liter engine. So we will click done and come back here. Uh, the truck we are using as an example is a four-wheel drive. We have a 3.5 liter engine. Notice there are three 3.5 liter turbocharged engines available to pick from and two 3.5 liter non-turbocharged engines. Uh, we have a turbocharged engine and that leaves us with three options. So the three options at the top right here and they are, do we have door axle code 15 or L5, 19 or L9, 27 or L3? Well, the door axle code is a label that's uh, on your door post just as you open the driver's door. And these codes tell you which axle gear ratio you have. So if you click on the help button in the upper right hand corner of the screen and scroll down, there's a little bit of information on the door axle code and of course uh, there's a picture here of a, a vehicle configuration label uh, that's on the door post of your Ford vehicle and if you look at the bottom of that label right there you'll see the word axle and it has a code down below it this one is 3J in this photograph also while we're here notice there's a TR that means transmission uh, and it has a J code for the transmission. But for now, all we need is for you to look at your vehicle and decide which axle code do you have and then come back to this list. So we, we decided that we've got a four wheel drive, 3.5 liter turbocharged engine, and our door code is 19. So I'm going to click on 19, door code 19. Now we are to the vehicle information screen the NVH app has filled out a lot of the information on this screen for you based on the vehicle that you've picked. For example, the app knows that it's a six-cylinder engine and that the rear axle uh, gear ratio is 3.55 and on this four-wheel drive uh, truck the transfer case gear ratio in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive high is 1.0. Now, the next thing that you need to do uh, is enter your tire size down to the bottom here. So, we have a tire width box, a tire aspect ratio, and a tire diameter box. And, and if you don't know how to find the size of your tire, there's a link right at the bottom center of the screen, as you can see there, that reads, how do I find my tire size? So, let's click on that. There's a help file here that will guide you through um, looking at your tire and finding these numbers. So on the sidewall, 
these numbers are molded and we will come back in our example vehicle we have 275 for the tire width that's 275 millimeters the aspect ratio is 55 uh, percent and then the wheel diameter is 20 inches and that is all the NVH app needs to diagnose which parts on the vehicle could be responsible for a vibration so the next thing we do is hit start in the upper right hand corner the very first time you use the NVH app this prompt is going to come up and it's it's pretty much asking you for your permission to use your iPhone or iPads location services to determine vehicle speed we must have vehicle speed for this app to work properly uh, it uses the GPS in your phone or uh, iPad and not all iPads had a GPS it has to be a, um, iPad uh, certain models so we will click allow otherwise the app won't work and now we are to the vehicle view screen where we are looking at an outline of a vehicle as viewed from the top notice we have the tire sizes on the right hand side of the screen the tire speeds on the left hand side of the screen we have the engine speed at the top of the screen we have vehicle speed in the middle and drive shaft speed uh, towards the rear axle we have an outline of an engine a transmission front and rear drive shafts the front axle the rear axle and what all of these do while you're driving down the road is if the NVH app detects a vibration the parts on the car that can be responsible for that vibration will start glowing red so right now everything's black but as you drive down the road anything that starts glowing red has been matched to a vibration uh, frequency that might be uh, the cause of your vehicle vibration now the app has a feature to where it will record your vehicle um, while you are driving down the road and notice in the upper right hand corner of the screen there's a start recording uh, button and we're not going to press that in this demonstration but the next thing you would do is press start recording and go for your road test uh, bring your vehicle up to where it's vibrating just make sure that the phone uh, is picking up the vibration by things glowing red and then um, hit stop recording and the app will tell you what it has picked up as being responsible for the most severe vibration on your vehicle all right well this has been a demonstration of how to pick your vehicle using the NVH app pick your vehicle option be sure to look for the other video on picking your vehicle using the unlisted vehicle option that you would use if the vehicle you have is not listed in the list of manufacturers under pick your vehicle